do you earn money by doing the least amount of work possible? Well, the answer is simple. It's called React content. Why spend time and effort coming up with anything original when you can just react to other people's creativity? Is it stealing? Maybe, but just like Logan Paul's crypto scam, there's no consequences. Take a look at the YouTuber Waka Waka, who gives a shit. Waka likes to react to my content and has made a ton of money doing it. My high school vid netted him 550,000 views, which translates to about five to eight hundred dollars. That's half a G for a vid he put no effort into making. No insightful analysis of my nuanced viewpoints, just some basic white girl expressions of you're so big. Now, I know it seems like I'm making fun of him, and I am, but I don't blame him. He figured out a way to cheat the system. I never blame people for taking advantage of the rules. I always blame the rules. So if YouTube allows you to take other people's content and ruin it by sprinkling in some fake Jimmy Fallon laughs, then go ahead. I mean, humans have been making React content for decades. Back when I was a kid, America's Funniest Home Videos was one of the most watched shows in the country, which was basically just a low-res TikTok with less jailbait teens. Since then, there have been countless shows where a dude just stands in front of a green screen and reacts to content on the internet. I mean, what do they even show on MTV besides ridiculousness? Apparently, America loves the sound of a llama getting pegged. <laughs> So stop thinking hard work is how you become successful. Mexicans are some of the hardest workers out there, and I can't think of one CEO named Jesus. Capitalism doesn't reward hard work. It rewards you for exploiting other people's hard work. You think Bezos is welding steel in his new warehouse? <laughs> no. No. He'd be 20 stories up saying, How do I get these undesirables to work faster? Believe me, there ain't no calluses on his hands. So if you're not talented and are looking for easy ways to earn bread, then be like darkness over here and start stealing. But why don't I make React content, you may be asking yourself. I got over 700,000 subs. I'm bound to get a bunch of views. Why do I spend 25 hours writing one vid when I can make five in an hour? Think about how much money I can make, the resources, the women, the power I can have. Ugh, I can feel it. Ugh, I can feel it creeping in. But I'm not quite there yet. Because the older I get, the more I think about what my purpose is in life. What do I want to achieve before leaving this plane of existence? Is it just to acquire stuff? Because that's why I used to think. During COVID time, I bought a whole bunch of stuff trying to fix my sad brain. I got a sofa that feels like you're floating on fun bags, a massive TV to watch corn on, a bidet that feels like a stroke victim is tossing your salad. But none of them made me feel better because true happiness comes from people. The experiences and connections you make with one another. Road trips with the homies, cuddling after lovemaking, 2 a.m. conversations in the back of your friend's car are the reasons life is worth living. No one is dying and thinking about their Gucci belt unless it's wrapped around their neck. So try to stop thinking money is the ultimate goal when it's just a tool to get you where you need to go. But even with that said, I still want more money. Because the more money I can make, the greater impact I can have on humanity. Hard to build 100 wells in Africa when my credit card keeps getting declined. Plus, it's probably a good idea for me to have a safety net with how many pedo jokes I make. Unrelated, if you're watching this, Father Cunningham, I still remember what you did. So I'm in a weird spot because I love the vids I've made on this channel, but they are taking me longer and longer to write. Originally, I was like, oh, let me just talk about some random topics and add some dark humor. And now I'm trying to solve complex issues like social anxiety or how to fix your ugly face. It ain't easy. This month, I'm trying to solve racism. Racism. <laughs> No biggie, right? <laughs> the standard I set for every video is only growing. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting a little burnt out. Like, I need something easy I can do that doesn't require five days of writing. And the easiest thing I thought of is just to start another channel and do some React content. But like a thought with no gag reflex, I know it'll make me feel good initially, but then leave me with a deep feeling of shame. But if you guys wanna start doing React content, then I ain't judging. It's been proven in multiple mediums to be an effective business model. Plus, maybe you just need the money. Inflation, rent, what men are willing to settle for are all increasing. So if you want a little extra bread, then start exploiting your nearest bakery. So there you have it, the easiest ways to print money on YouTube. If you guys have some good channel names or ideas for your boy, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, probably names more, as I really don't know what to call it. And just remember, you don't need talent to be successful. You just need to milk other people's talent. America's Funniest Home Videos, hosted by Bob. Don't pronounce if you have a lisp. Sag it. Mm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.